Hello, everybody. So, anyways, I was supposed to do a Tonewood video today. In follow-up to the two Tonewood videos I did last week. I did two videos last week, and I wanted to do a uh, follow-up today. Basically doing a small test, kind of proving my point. But, um, I didn't have all the tools. Not really tools, but all the parts and everything I needed to do the test up to my standards. Um, so I wasn't going to just do it half-assed. So, anyways... I scrapped the idea and I will do the test probably next week when I get everything together. In the meantime, I did want to still make a video, so we got this guitar. Let's take a look at this one once. This is a guitar that I built in 2012. Okay. Um, this is the guitar that Randy Gardner and Tim Arts played. They did a demo of this guitar on New Year's um, Eve in Winchester, Virginia. Now, whenever they played it, it had the, I mean, the uh, maple fretboard, and the six and a line peg head up here, and I switched the necks. Basically, I just put a different neck on it. So, and like I said, I built this in 2012, and uh, basically what I want to do is there's a lot of stuff that there's not a lot of stuff wrong with it, but there's a lot of stuff that needs to get done to it. Maybe not a lot of stuff, but some stuff, um, some simple stuff, and then some other stuff I want to do to try to try, uh, spice it up a little bit, maybe. So anyways, what I'm hoping is I get this when I get this done, we're gonna I'm gonna zoom the camera in here in a minute, we're gonna go over what's what I wanna do to this and what we need to fix on it. But hopefully whenever I get it completely done, somebody out there is gonna buy this um, at a discounted price. Because it is a twenty twelve, it's you know, it's three years old. So um, let me get the camera. Let's zoom in on this guitar here and uh, take a look at what's wrong with it and what the potential fix is and some other stuff I want to do to it to kind of make it look better. Anyways, let me zoom in. We'll take a look at it. A couple things about this guitar. Okay. First of all, this is an older body. It is inch and three quarters thick. I got a cutaway in the back here. Kind of my thing. Back in uh, 20, between like, I don't know, I think right around 2007 2008 I started doing some cutaways smaller cutaways than this and the back of the body to kind of make the guitars unique this one ended up turning out to be a lot bigger cutaway and I've kind of caught kind of got away from doing that on my guitars now um, you know I kind of think it was kind of wore out on me so anyways I got an older body inch and three quarter stick and I don't know if you can see that or not but there is grain you can see the grain of the guitar um, a little bit, I guess. So, you can see the grain as it's stained, but the stain's pretty dark on it. And like I said, I switched the neck out. It had a, a maple neck on it originally, and I switched it out. And so let's go over it. It's got a tremolo on it, but I got it blocked off in the back right now because um, I was having problems with it staying in tune and stuff. It's not set up right. It's what it is. It needs to be. I need to reset that up. It's got a set of distortion um, humbuckers in it. They're no name brands though. Uh, it's just a cheap brand that I found online. I'll probably end up um, building my own set for this one. Um, Three-way toggle here, a volume and a tone. Basically a, t a Telecaster setup over here and a humbucker with a tremolo. It's a 25 and a half inch scale. I got a bone nut down on this end. Let me spin this around this way here for us. I got a bone nut down here. And I got um, Grover Grover tuners. And if you can see the sticker, there you can see it. I got Grover tuners. You can see my sticker on the back. Uh, that sticker's on the back of every guitar that I build. So you got the handcrafted in Hedgesville, West Virginia on the back and then on the front you get the Andrew Allen and then the name of the guitar. This is the, the Avenger. Um, if you noticed, it's not the same design as the Avenger now. This is a discontinued model. I don't build this model anymore. Of course, if you called up or got a hold of me and say you want me to build this, I'll definitely still build it. But this is a model that I'm not really, um, really pushing anymore. I kind of dis discontinued the whole thing. Um, didn't care for it, but like I said, if you want one, you know, you want like that body style, I'll definitely still build, I'll build anything if you're going to pay for it. 
I mean, that's what I do. I build custom guitars, so, you know, nothing's out of the question. So, anyways, let's... A couple things that's wrong. Like I said, the, the tremolo needs set up. And um, everything's out of whack as well as the setup itself. And that's just something that needs to be fixed. It isn't, that isn't nothing major there. So, if, you, if we check the nut, the nut's, the nut's probably pretty good. I think we shoot for like 22 thousandths, between 20 and 22 thousandths in that area. And, yeah, the nut's way high. The nut's probably close 35 to 40. And the action's super high. Um, another, that one of the problems that this guitar has is it's on the verge of not innovating. Okay, if we zoom in on the bridge there, see if I can zoom in on this bridge for you real quick. Okay, you can see the saddles are, um, they're not straight across. They're basically set up where they should be. And the problem I'm having, and it's it's just a mistake, um, is this this saddle here is the whole way back. That's as far back as it can go. And whenever I tune this string, it doesn't innate the whole way up. Um, the this one here also is could go back a little bit more. Now the rest of these are good. I got these all four of these will innate, but these two are right on the borderline of not. And basically. In the process of when I built this thing, I must have used two different necks. I'm not sure how I pulled it off, but I must have built the body with one neck and then switched to a different neck because at the time I was building two or three guitars and I got the necks messed up. And what happened was one of the necks was a longer fret, had a fret longer. Well, this neck's too short. That's why I switched it in the first place. It wouldn't innovate. So I built this neck specifically for this guitar. And the problem is I didn't build it long enough. So that neck's coming back off. So up here, where we were right here, the neck needs to be about a fret longer. Probably a 24 fret neck would probably be perfect for that. It's probably what I'll end up building, a 24 fret neck. And then resetting everything back up the way it was. Okay, now I'm going to try to show you something in the body. And I don't know if it's going to show up on camera or not. But I'm going to see if I can get the, the angle right. And let me see. Hopefully, it's not going to be too shaky. So, that light's right in the way, too. If you see right there, you can see a crack that runs there. There's a crack that runs there. And all it is is hairline cracks in the lacquer. And... The only thing I can figure is, whenever I built this guitar, the wood wasn't completely dry, or somehow the moisture got into the wood or something, I'm not sure, but you got little cracks that run all along here, and there are cracks in the lacquer. Now, I might try to sand that out, because to be honest with you, I can't stand here with 100% certainty and say that it's in the lacquer. You can feel it. You know it's in the lacquer. But what I mean is I can't say without certainty that it's not in the wood, too. I don't know. So I'll have to sand that out and see. But I think it's just cracked in the lacquer. And it's there. You got a couple cracks up in here. And on the back, you got a scratch here. This is a little couple, like, um, divots or whatever you call it. And then down here you see that light blue spot. I don't know if you can see that or not. Let's grab the camera here. See if we can zoom in on that. Right. These are scratch marks here. Get that out of the way. And see that light blue mark there? Right here. That is a... That's whenever I stained the body. Um, at the time I didn't... I was staining older and I didn't seal it properly, I think. And it didn't stain. So you got a little blemish there in the stain. Um... I might sand it back down and restain it. I don't know if I'm going to go that far or not. Um, we'll have to wait and see. The other thing I'm going to do is all that, after all that, when I work on a new neck, the neck itself here, let me zoom in on the neck and we'll talk about it for a second. And I'm sorry I'm making it all shaky. 
but I got this on a tripod and I'm, um, okay, there's a neck. All right. So what I'm going to do with the neck on a new one, I'm going to put a rosewood fretboard on it. I'm going to put binding around the fretboard. Up here, around the peg head. I'm going to put binding around the peg head. I'm going to put a veneer on the peg head. Probably put a graphite nut in it. And then I'm going to inlay. And I'm not sure what I'm going to inlay yet. I might, I'm might. i thinking about doing maybe stars. I've always wanted to inlay stars. And I, there's not a whole lot of guitars that have stars. If not stars, I'll go with like, um, you know, something blocks um, maybe the shark fins I don't know something I want to inlay something into the um, in the fretboard like I said binding now on the body itself I'm not gonna put binding around the body itself I'm not gonna put like binding on here or anything like that so that's a lot of stuff I'm gonna do and like I said pickups I'll probably end up winding a set of pickups pull these ones out and wind a set so here's the here's what I want to talk about this guitar, brand new, I was selling for $875. I'm going to do all this work on this guitar, get it back to where it was originally, and I'm going to sell it probably half price, 400 and something probably, like 475 450 in that area, maybe 499 I don't know, I'm not sure exactly yet, but in that area, half off basically. So if somebody's interested in buying this guitar, um, and you want something special done to it that I didn't show you, or you want a special inlay in the fretboard, or if you want a certain kind of pickups in it, or whatever, get a hold of me and let me know. Cause like, I'm, like I said, I'm going to do it and sell it for like four, four fifty, four seventy five in that area. So if you want something done special to it before I start doing all the stuff, you know, let me know. Um, I'll definitely do what I can to make it um, to your liking. If you're interested in buying it, like I said, the pickups aren't bad. It doesn't sound bad. It's not heavy, not real heavy. It's, it's really a good guitar when it's set up right and plays good. I got a video of, of Tim Arts and Randy Gardner down in Winchester, Virginia, playing it on New Year's Eve. That video is on my channel. Go check that video out. You know what I mean? And um, yeah, you'll hear what it sounds like. So of course, with the changed pickups, it'll sound different. But that's basically what I got going there. I got the guitar here. Let me know if you're interested, and uh, we'll go from there. So that is uh, basically it. I wanted to pull this guitar out and let um, Jens know what I was going to do with it, see if anybody's interested in buying it at naturally half off. And instead of doing a Tonewood video, like I said earlier, I'll have to wait till next week to do that maybe. Yeah, probably next week. Anyways, um, the guitar pickups that I'm giving away... Um, that contest ends Saturday, March the 8th, Saturday, March the 7th at midnight. So if you haven't been registered, get over there and get that video. We're going to do a video on Sunday. I'm going to draw the winner on Sunday. So stay tuned for that. Thanks everybody who has subscribed to my channel. I picked up a lot of subscriptions this week. Thanks everybody who watched my Tonewood videos. Thanks everybody who commented on my Tonewood videos. Thanks a lot. Um, they're getting a good many views, so they're pretty popular. Um, thank you everybody for that. Don't forget, you can comment, you can share. And you can like this video. You can also subscribe if you like my videos. You want to see more of them. There's a button up here you can subscribe. Thanks for watching. And I will see you in a later video.